Yes, there are third world conditions in the United States. Hi, Hi I'm, Betty. I'm Betty, and I'm, and going, I'm to going to tell, tell you about, about an organization, organization that serves some of the poorest people that you will never hear about. One Spirit. One Spirit is an organization that serves Native Americans, focusing right now on the Lakota in Pine Ridge and Cheyenne. The mission of One Spirit is to assist the Lakota people in presenting, preserving, and revitalizing Lakota culture, language, and self-sufficiency by be meeting basic needs of the Lakota people. One Spirit promotes friendship. One Spirit promotes cultural exchange. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the reservation which was much larger when it began and it's two million acres now two hours from Rapid City 80 to 90 percent of the adults on this reservation are unemployed 90 percent that's right 90 percent live below the poverty level the only people who are poorer in the Western Hemisphere are Haitians. And these people live in the United States. The reservation is huge. You can put on 950 miles just traveling from one area to another in five days. Beautiful. It's isolated. So let's do, look deeper. And you pause. If you want to look at something, it won't offend me. This is the town of Kyle. You can see the isolation. Not much around. Do you know what the life expectancy is? Well, for you, it's probably about 80. You live in the United States, which is number 38 internationally. For people who live on the reservation, it's a lot lower. 48 for men, 48 years, and 52 for women. That's equal to Burundi, which is number 177 in the world. South Africa, Somalia, Nigeria. It's as though a small piece of the United States lives in the third world. Now the Lakota don't complain about this and they are generous to a fault. They share what they have with each other and they give. But what they have can be very little. This is Christmas in Allen, South Dakota. Allen is on the reservation. As you can see, the houses vary. Some are in more need than others. At least that's how it looks from the outside. But go in and find the door that has to be kept closed against the South Dakota winds by stuffing a dish towel in it. because no one can afford the repair. Christmas dinner is delicious, but look past dinner. Look at where dinner is served. How many children have worn that floor down? And how many children still do? How much does that sharing take a toll 
on what you have. There's a food program with One Spirit. It supplies fresh produce and meats, foods that people who are prone to diabetes, like the Lakota, find very important. And they do the work, they benefit. Now I'm showing you mud, yeah, mud, because most of Pine Ridge, except for the main roads, is not paved. And while it looks beautiful, even the churches, the infrastructure needs help. Because even some of the public buildings don't have indoor plumbing and indoor restrooms. Neither do the homes. Many heat with propane supplemented by electric heaters or wood. There's a wood program that One Spirit sponsors. The men cut and split the wood with One Spirit providing equipment and then they're paid to deliver it as well. Jobs. Something the reservation is really in need of. Sponsorship means connecting with one family, one child, one elder, and sending gifts directly to that person. Gifts that are meant for that person. Gifts that help them in their daily life. When was the last time you did your laundry outdoors? Imagine the winter. Okini is sharing material things. Look at this car. The transportation on the reservation is whatever you can find that you can afford. As long as it runs. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. And the deer and the antelope play. You remember that song. But I would suggest you need to be careful what you wish for. I'm going to show you one of those homes. The little blue house on the hill, my friend called it. This house was a rented house on the reservation. This is the kitchen. You see that plastic milk jug, the empty one? That's what they were using to bring water to the home from families' homes because there is no running water in the house. The well was no good. There are no electrical codes. That orange jug is where they stored the water that they carted. There was a wood stove at one time, but the prior tenants destroyed it, so it was removed. Imagine. No hot water, no running water, no bathroom. Outdoor bathroom. Duct tape. We all love duct tape. It can do a world of things, including patching the holes in your walls from prior tenants. And plastic, plastic sheeting. It's great for keeping the drafts out of the house, but it's not very good for the view. Oh, the white water tank. My friends waited a year to get that storage tank so they wouldn't have to truck water a jug or two at a time. It's a tough life. And their job really is survival. That's the back door. Boarded up. One exit in this house. Because it was falling off the hinges. And there was too much draft blowing through. Better to board it up.
Now that good car in the back, that was ours. But this one, this is what happens when one of those deer decide to play in front of you as you drive through the reservation. And the shovel, that's the door lock. That's the indication that somebody's living here stay out. You can see the door has been fixed with duct tape too. Yeah, $500 a month. And the electric to heat that with two space heaters, seven. It is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. Many Lakota youth are losing hope and suicide rates among teens and young people are soaring. One Spirit has a horse program which promotes the rides across country so children can learn their culture. An art program and a safe house for young people. It also has an art market for some of the very talented Lakota. So one spirit is trying to meet basic needs and to promote self-sufficiency. The food program, hunger has a cure its food. The wood program heats people, employs men. The sponsorship program is absolutely wonderful and we have people from all over the world who sponsor children in the United States just as we do on other countries. The youth program is so important to support culture provide activities for the youth. Sponsorship allows money to be shifted from those small needs sponsors meet to other needs. Okini, I mentioned it before, it's sharing material goods. It's a list that one-time donors can look at and say, I could send a pair of shoes because those are the kinds of things that these people ask for us for. Shoes, blankets, clothing for the children, school supplies, things they cannot provide for their children. We can leave you and I. We can just drive off into the sunset. But can we leave the idea that people are living in third world conditions in the United States? Is that right? One spirit doesn't think so. One spirit works to change that. So donate today. 90% of anything donated to one spirit goes to program. No one gets paid. Sponsor. Make a friend. Visit the website to learn more. Can you imagine your children not eating? Can you imagine ha not having diapers for your baby? Or your grandparents with no heat in the winter? Can you imagine no running water in your home? no bathroom indoors, 10-foot snow drifts sealing you into your home with no food or heat, no car, no phone, no electricity. Your imagination is Pine Ridge Res Life reality. Help one spirit help the Lakota to help themselves.